All right, heading into week three of this NFL season, we are going up against the undefeated Baltimore Ravens, and we are right now chasing the Jaguars, who are 2-0. Welcome back to this Colts franchise. We're going off a very, very big win in week two. As you can see on the screen, we beat the Texans 21 to 20 in a very, very close game. If you didn't check that out, be sure to go watch it. It was a great video. Uh, we got regional scouting focus to focus on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to go. So it's everything but the na um, nation. Um, so probably we're probably going to do running back do we have wide receiver probably gonna do running back for the west even though i don't think that's its strong suit maybe no okay i'm probably gonna set focus on running back i'm not gonna lie set focus on running back for the west for the central we might set it on safety or corner what do i think is the strongest um i think i'm gonna set it on safety uh, we probably need that more than corner, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one, we're dealt, we're going to set to wide receiver. Uh, they have some really good wide receivers in this draft, it looks like. And then this one is going to be defensive. And uh, there it is. So we got our regional scouting focus. National, I think, comes in like week five or six. Maybe even week eight. I don't know. So we'll deal with that when we get to it. This is a big game against Baltimore. If you don't know the Ravens team already, we'll take a look at them real quick. Here is this team, obviously, Mark Andrews, uh, Roquan Smith, Marlon Humphrey, Justin Tucker, and Lamar Jackson, who is going to be our biggest threat. I'm not too worried about their defense. Yes, they have Marcus Williams. They have Kyle Hamilton. They have Michael Pierce. But I feel confident we can do decent against this. This defense is good. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like Anthony Richardson can have a very good game going to the game plan. Um... I would usually contain QB scramble, but I'm actually going to contain the short pass for Lamar Jackson. They want us to throw it deep. Say less. Say less. Get one interception. I think we can get a pick. Um, Allowed 24 points or less. We'll do that. 250 offensive yards. Perfect. No sacks allowed. That's probably not going to happen. Let's allow or actually let's let's try and win the turnover battle. All right. That's what we've been kind of bad at with Andrew Richardson. So in both games, we've thrown at least one or two picks. So we need to get better at protecting the football and not causing any turnovers we suck away with the win against the texans uh maybe a game we shouldn't have won but we won nonetheless so let's try and keep that momentum heading into week three can we take out the undefeated ravens we're about to find out who got an upgrade julius brents will just auto do that and let's head into this week three game we are away i was gonna say at home we are away we are in baltimore for this one here we go, M&T Bank Stadium for this week three matchup between the Colts and the Ravens. AR versus um, Lamar Jackson. Zach Moss had a great game. We were supposed to trade Jonathan Taylor. I always forget. I might trade him at the end of this episode, but we'll slide it into the beginning. But they finally, Madden finally added the black helmet for the Colts. They've had a bunch of those missing. They've had the Broncos white helmet missing. Um, and a few others, but we finally can wear these alternate uniforms and the numbers are messed up. I just saw that. I just saw that. Come on, Madden. And it's rainy out here. The Ravens, I can't speak. The Ravens do not get a score. And we're going to run QB option with Richardson. Gets to the outside and gets the first down. All right, we're going to go with the Zach Moss toss. Bars. And he's going to get a big gain here. Zach Moss breaking free. The run game might be where we hang our hat on today because so far so good first two plays two big runs for 11 yards in that one i already forgot how much it went for but it went for a lot let's see zach moss again gonna get up get about 10 there he's got 29 second and inches we have not passed the ball yet and i don't plan on doing it on this play can zach moss he gets us the first down that's all we needed all right um first and goal we're gonna send uh, Josh Downs on a slant route. Josh Downs wide open and he holds on in the cold strike first. Joshua Downs, the rookie, is in the end zone for the touchdown. Second and two. Ravens did not score on their drive. We're going to use Anthony Richardson's legs and he's going to get sacked. That's tough. I really thought he'd have the speed to break around on the edge that sucks right there that's a big loss 
Uh, they're really tempting to run. I'm not gonna, obviously. We're gonna just dump it off to Isaiah McKenzie, and he drops it. The Ravens finally get something on the board. We're gonna audible to a pass here. Michael Pittman could be open. I just don't know if he has the route running. And we're just gonna dump it off to the tight end. Scary ball there by AR, but it gets there. Third and one. We're gonna give the ball to Zach Moss and let him do what he does best. Get that first down. Zach Moss, he's gonna be short. Fourth and inches. I feel like we have to go for it. I'm sorry, I know we're in our own end of the field. But I mean, we gotta go with the good old push tush. Push is there not there's um is there am I QB sneak? Why is it all the way over there? Good old tush push. Anthony Richardson, can he get the first down? AR, he fumbles. He he fumbles the ball on Did it I oh my god. This momentum is making it really hard to pass the ball, so we've been just been running it. And it has not been working. Mo Alley Cox. And yep, of course, the corner is just perfect. That's a middle linebacker that is just keeping up with them perfectly. We're gonna be forced to punt here. Sanchez, can we get a good punt from him? Be nice if we can pin them. We get the blockers off the edge. And they're gonna have to fair catch it at the 13. And we do get a stop. Michael Pittman is going to be on a nice route. We're going to put Joshua Downs on a slant here and hope for the best. Let's see if Michael Pittman, he does not break free. But Joshua Downs gets open. Third and one. He's going to give it to good old Reliable here in Zach Moss and see what he can do with it. Get the first down, please. He does, and he gets a whole lot more. What a block by Quentin Nelson. I still don't know after this drive how they have full momentum. We, we've moved the ball very effectively, and they still have full momentum. We're going to give it up to the tight end, and they finally lose full momentum. Third and three. We really need a conversion here. Let's see. I was going to give it to the tight end. He's not open. Can he completes it. What a pass by AR. I was really, really concerned on if Richardson be able to throw an accurate pass on the run, and he get, throws a dot. To Michael Pittman, new set of downs for the Indianapolis Colts. Can we get into the end zone before halftime is the goal. And Michael Pittman is going to be open again. He makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. They're going to tie it up. Two, two passes to Michael Pittman turns into seven. And leave it to Madden to let the Ravens score in literally no time. I'm not even going to risk throwing the football here. Just going to run it. Zach Moss, he's going to get a decent gain there, and that's going to take us to halftime. And literally after one play, they get full. This is why I turn the momentum meter off in my normal walk. My normal just, wow, that's nearly picked somehow. When I play on my own time, I shut the momentum off because it's just super, super unbalanced. But I figured I'd keep it on for this series. But my God, is it proven to be even... It's proven my point here with how unbalanced it is. One play, and they immediately get full momentum. It doesn't make any sense. Michael Pittman, can he be accurate enough? It's a high pass, and of course he drops it because no receiver can make any catch unless they're wide open. And the Ravens, believe it or not, score. Uh, they only get three, though, so that's good. And we're going to run another QB option with AR. He's going to break free. Great game by Richardson. He's got 44 on the ground. And literally, that big gain is not enough to break their momentum. Like, are we serious, Madden? This certainly, this better break their momentum, dude. What a run by Zach Moss, and he's still going. Thank you. That's enough to break their full momentum. Where they're playing a decent game on offense, just not good enough. We're passing it efficiently. We're just doing a lot of short passes, not much medium to long range. But the ground game has just been amazing from both AR and Zach Moss, and we're still struggling. At least we're moving the ball here. Could have sent Michael Pittman on a streak route. Play action here. Play action. Wide open. But that was not inaccurate. That was just the cornerback literally pass interference and Madden not calling it. Third and two. AR has a little under the 100. He's got 97 yards on the day. And he's going to give it to Isaiah McKenzie. That's going to get him over 100. He's not going to have those big yardage games. It's, it's just not how this offense is um, orchestrated, I guess. 
Um, it's not the way this offense is really constructed. Is we just we just run the ball is really what we do, and we do stuff like that where we get two yards. They come out and pass commit, and we're basically just shut down. Or Isaiah McKenzie jukes a man. He gets the first. He can't get in the end zone though. Big reception though from Isaiah McKenzie. That helps a lot because wow, they're gonna leave a wide open in that situation. We need something like that. Let's see if we can get the blocks. They're in pass commit. And Zach Moss is barely going to get in. Ryan Kelly almost blocked it. But we cut it back to a one-score game. We have 143 rushing yards to that 67. And 109 passing yards to their 200. Zach Moss, another good run. Third and one. We need this conversion. I don't want to risk giving the ball back to Lamar Jackson here. I really don't. I'm going to run it. I really wanted to pass it there. We're going to run. They're not run committing. Zach Moss is going to get the first down. All right. We're going with the risk here. We are going to go. I really want to throw it with Michael Pittman, but we're going to go QB sneak here. Well, not QB sneak. QB option. Anthony Richardson. Hold on to it. He goes out of bounds. He's got 58 yards. Every time we've used that play, it has worked so far in this game. Anthony Richardson's wheels has been amazing. We're going to sit Pittman on the streak. We're going to sit down on a slant. Let's see what we can do. We're going to have Moali Cox. We're going to have him pass block. Can we get it to Pittman? They're going to guard him. We're going to wait for Joshua Downs. That's nearly picked off. I'm going to be honest. I did not see number 32. His jersey was literally blending in. Could not see him. And they're going to do basically the same exact thing. Let's see. We're going to have to do this. Throw it. We're going to have to dump it off. We get one yard. This is tough. All right. Third and nine. Big play here. If we do mess it up or we don't get the conversion, we can kick a field goal. Just don't take a sack. Don't take a sack. That's good. There's no way. There's no way that's intentional grounding. I am way outside of the pocket. What? There's no way. Nah. There's just no way. I'm outside of the pocket. That's absurd. And I can't go for it because it's so far. That's absurd. The fact that that was considered the pocket is insane to me. That I was clearly outside of the pocket. And Madden just completely screws me over. We back up to the 16. We need... A, if you're going to let them score, at least hold them to a field goal. And they do just that. They held them to a field goal. We have a minute 35 in all of our time. Of course, they have max momentum. Why wouldn't they? We have a little bit of time left. I have, please, it's accurate, AR, what a pass, Anthony Richardson to Pittman, hurry up, hurry up offense, let's go, let's go, let's go, hike the ball, hike the ball, hike the ball, and, oh my god, he, he trailed him perfectly there, I'm gonna go play action, I'm not sure how well it's gonna work though here, play action here, Josh Downs, can he, how, he's, how does he get, how does he know it's there, how does he know the football's there? He's not even looking at it, Madden. Like, seriously. Third and ten now. I don't understand how he's just looking at that football. Like, he knows... Oh, my God. Please. That's going to be... Oh my God. Fourth and ten. We have to go for it. Fourth and ten. Game comes down to this. Game comes down to this. Right here. And I get, and I get pressured, and that's, that's going to do it. Yep, that's it, game. O-line collapse. I had, I think it was Isaiah McKenzie Kenzie was going to beat that middle linebacker over the top. And the offense just could not get enough blocks. Our defense did our job of holding them to only a field goal. But the offense just failed us today. Uh, Lamar Jackson, 23-30, 248, two touchdowns. Anthony Richardson did not have a bad game. 17-30, uh, to 30, only 146, two touchdowns. He's not going to get a lot of yards because we just don't pass it down the field as much. Um, Rushing-wise, we had such a good rushing game. He had 58 yards on the ground. Zach Moss had 100. But, I mean, look, we played such, we played so well rushing defense-wise. And we just, Odell Beckham, 100 yards. Dave Flowers, 61. It just wasn't enough. And then defensive, they, we, they got one sack on us. But the pressures... I don't know if that's going to be showing. It's not going to, but we got pressured so often. It felt like that it was just at the end that that play at the end was just it killed us. It absolutely killed us.
So I forgot that Taylor's on IR. And in Madden, you have to wait till like week, is it, I think it's like week eight or something to take him off of IR. So we are going to be unable to trade Jonathan Taylor probably this season, to be honest with you. So we might just lose him in free agency. I don't know. I'm just fully prepare, prepared to build this team without him. I won't lie. So without further, without further ado, that's going to be for me. I'll leave a like, guys, and subscribe if you guys are new. GG.